conquer the empire with your weaponry. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Literally says, conquer the empire with the towers right above it. How creepy is that? So I was heading down to work and I noticed quite a few new towers are being set up. You know, this is something you can go outside and confirm for yourself. They are installing the weaponry as we are stuck at home in our houses. A fresh tower being put up on my way down to work. If you look at that, there's another tower up on the left over here. That was not here two weeks ago. That tower was not here two weeks ago. And that is the newest Wi-Fi. As you guys can see, the weaponry is ready. And those are just the towers I'm seeing. I'm sure they're hiding some in the trees, in the lamp posts. Uh, but today I wanted to focus on what makes you more susceptible to uh, these types of frequencies. And it's basically the metal in your body and the detox pathways. Uh, you know, one might try to argue that, you know, genetically different people are capable of different things, but those genetic factors are predetermined by your lifestyle. Uh, I would say that, you know, someone who's younger in the developmental stage of life, like a baby or child, as well as an elderly person, is certainly going to have, you know, less optimal metabolic detox pathways. Uh, so that is where you can tie in an age-related problem. But the main thing we're focused on here is pollutants in our environment, you know, in our food supply, in our water, uh, in addition to, you know, imbalanced mineral ratios in the diet. Uh, so of course you have people like myself who have had surgeries like jaw surgery, and I have titanium plates in my face, as well as titanium screws in my upper face. Uh, so I am incredibly sensitive to these frequencies, and I will get a headache within, you know, half an hour, an hour of being in Manhattan. Look at all that over there. You guys want to, uh, you guys want to live near all that? All those power lines? Look at that. The good old American dream. Make sure to put on your hazmat suit when you're driving down to work. Or you don't have to, because they'll put one right in front of your house. You know, there was a story that this guy was telling where, you know, this guy worked as an electrician for years and years and years. And electricians have a short life expectancy, but uh, this electrician broke his arm. And as soon as he got that metal plate installed in his arm, he wasn't even able to work anymore. He couldn't even get out of bed. Uh, so getting metal in your body is certainly an issue. And I think I'm at the point where, uh, you know, I can't get the metal removed. It's been, you know, a few years since my surgery. I think the bone has grown over it. And, you know, the danger of removing the plates from my face uh, exceeds the benefit I wear. Because, you know, it's a, it's a very, very serious, a very invasive surgery of having, you know, screws in your cheekbones and stuff like that. So... Uh, getting that stuff removed isn't really on the table for me. Even without this new Wi-Fi infrastructure being set up, the current system is still absolutely horrendous and detrimental to our health. You know, if you ever wonder why, you know, people in highly populated cities and children from those areas, you know, don't grow as tall, don't develop as properly, you know, they tend to have more ADHD and certain issues, as well as like cancer and sicknesses and diseases, this is it. Now, if you look around, there's power lines everywhere, there's infrastructure everywhere that, you know, we arguably don't need or we can certainly set it up in a safer way. Coming up here is the casino. I'm sure they're installing plenty of towers on there, fresh installs for the elderly people to get blasted all day and get very, very sick. And of course, they'll blame it on, oh, you went to the casino where all these old people are touching everything. That's why you got sick. When in reality is they installed new antennas that are microwaving these people as they're getting zonked out on these machines. And the worst part about all of this is they've convinced us that we need to have devices like this in our homes. You know, everyone has a cell phone, which, you know, limited use of a cell phone is okay, but everything should really be hardwired. You know, your modem, your router, that stuff should not be on. Uh, there's so many new Amazon devices, anything with Wi-Fi, you know, the new AirPods are one of the worst things for you. They've literally convinced people to stick things in their ear that are frying their brains 24-7. You know, there are people that, you know, can get plates and certain things removed. Uh, one good example of this is like mercury amalgam fillings uh, from your dentist. Uh, having any type of metal in your mouth, uh, root canals. You know, not only do you have toxic metals in your body that are leaching throughout your body, uh, you actually have like pockets of bacteria. Uh, there's a good documentary called The Root Cause uh, that you can check out on that stuff. 
and there are some like holistic dentists and I'm not sure I don't remember exactly what they're called but there are dentists that do this type of stuff and they do remove these uh, metal fillings in a safe way you have of course just the pollutants you know everyone's cooking with aluminum foil you know aluminum baking tins it's the worst thing you could do is cook with aluminum uh, aluminum is stored in your body and the only way to remove it is to you know stop consuming aluminum uh, aluminum is in our deodorants that's why I make an aluminum free deodorant on Frankie's Naturals and even after I removed all aluminum from my diet and lifestyle I still have some aluminum in my hair and mineral analysis and that's because they actually spray the skies you know when you see those quote clouds unquote you know coming out from these airplanes uh, they're actually spraying the metals in the air uh, like aluminum like other things I don't know what exactly is in those oh speaking of which there's a there's a helicopter flying above me right now Look at that. Just on cue, boys. The helicopter is flying by to greet us with some more medals. See, guys, I can't make this up. It's happening every second of every day, wherever you go. You're breathing it in, you're eating it. You know, imagine how much is in your tap water if you're not drinking a high quality water source. You know, anytime you go out to eat, if the food is made with water, uh, you know, the cross contamination, you know, are the crops grown with water that's full of metals? You know, are you buying organic? Even if you're buying organic, you know, is it safe? You know, do you have to go to a local farm to get the highest quality foods to make sure you're removing these negative aspects from your lifestyle? And, you know, I've said several times, you know, the best thing to do to be healthy is to remove all the negatives, not necessarily add the positives. You, know, you can see like up there, you know, the antennas at the top of Yankee Stadium. You know, I'm sure it's completely outfitted with uh, all the latest weaponry technology unfortunately another big metal toxicity you guys have heard me talk about in the past is iron overload and our current diets are deficient in certain minerals like zinc and copper both especially and they're high in fortified iron uh, they're also deficient in retinol and you know copper and retinol are needed to activate ceruloplasmin most of the time people are deficient in copper you know they are getting some vitamin a uh, so this results in iron being stored in very large amounts in your liver and when irons in your liver not only does that impair you know, the detox organ in your body, which is the liver, uh, so you might be suffering just from the iron being there, the iron is making you an antenna. So it's like a combination effect. You, know, you have the iron impairing your detox pathways, the ability to deal with the oxidative stress from these frequencies, and you have the metal actually attracting the Wi-Fi signals to your body. You know, you've essentially become an antenna. So imagine someone who has a lot of these boxes checked. You know, imagine if they have metal installed, various plates from surgeries, in their hips, in their knees, whatever. You know, they have aluminum flowing through their body because of cooking with it. Uh, they have the amalgam fillings. You know, a combination of all these metals. You know, your liver's full of iron. Imagine someone with every single one of these things. That's why there are people in bed, there are people in hospitals, there are people suffering, there are people that can barely move. And just about every modern problem can probably be related to some type of metal toxicity, especially aluminum, uh, because it's intentionally placed in our water supply, in our food supply, in the things we're using to cook. You know, they're spraying it on us, even if you're not doing those things. And it requires a healthy diet and a healthy lifestyle and the removal of these things uh, to truly fix that. And unless you're aware of all this stuff, you haven't been doing it and you're probably in a pretty bad position right now. So hopefully you guys will be able to protect yourselves to some degree from this in the near future. You know, hopefully I can afford to uh, move away from this hell hole sometime soon and get like a safe living space, especially for myself considering, you know, how sensitive I am to this stuff. Heading back from work right now, noticed some more weaponry on the roof of this building. And I'm sure if we took a look around, you'll find plenty more weaponry. More up there, weaponry on the buildings. You know, I didn't notice those a couple weeks ago. You know, these cable companies are working overtime to install this infrastructure that will completely fry us. They are ready to press a button that will cause something that the world has never seen before. More up here, more weaponry on all of these buildings. All of these buildings just filled with the latest and greatest Wi-Fi technology. I mean, you guys could look everywhere. You know, there, there's plenty of weaponry on all of these buildings. Just about every single apartment building in the Bronx has weaponry installed on it already. See over there? 
look it's all on these buildings here this is scary i would not want to be down here conquer the empire with your weaponry <laughs> this is crazy this is crazy literally says conquer the empire with the towers right above it how creepy is that i mean i mean they're completely blasting people there's a uh, you know, I, I haven't gone any distance without seeing a tower. I don't know why these are all pointing at the highway. I, I don't know what they're trying to do. Are they trying to get everyone that's commuting to uh, to get completely fried? Is that their plan? Rentthebronx.com. Bestofthebronx.com. Yeah, I'm sure uh, those two statements make a lot of sense when you have weaponry on your buildings. Some of you guys might remember that mysterious message the president tweeted some time ago. Kofifi. Uh, CO stood for, you know, CO, obviously the Toyota Corolla. And FEFE -E stood for iron. And I think it was the metabolism of uh, Toyota Corolla had to do with iron metabolism. And it also ties into the metals. And, you know, I don't remember the specifics of, you know, debunking what that really meant. But it goes to show that these people you know, are giving us messages along the way and their predictive programming and getting us to accept what's going to be done to us. And, and that's something we can't be doing. But they will say it's not dangerous. How gullible and foolish do you have to be to think something like that isn't dangerous? How? Tell me. The demolition crew is here installing your towers. Two trucks right behind me. I should probably follow these guys and see where they're going. I wonder if they're installing towers. Who knows where they're going though? I mean, I could be following them for miles and miles. Uh, so if you guys could please share this around, uh, get people more aware of you know what they've done to us. It's a pretty blatant and clear agenda when they're forcefully putting metals into our bodies and then installing things that are activated with these metals. Uh, so thanks for joining me today, guys. Of course, if you could like the video, subscribe, definitely hit that bell icon. Uh, if you guys would like to support me further, uh, you know, just uh, check out the stuff down below. Frankie's Syringe Meat, Oregon Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, and FrankDestefano.com for a free carnivore diet meal plan. I'll uh, see you guys later this week.